Hey YouTube, so I know it's been a while, so I have my to be read pile and a book haul, which could be the same thing, but I don't consider that the same thing because my to be read pile is just the books that I know I want to read next, whereas a book haul will have books that I want to read, but I don't necessarily know when I'm going to get to them. So first I'll do my to be read pile. Um, there's quite a few books, so my first book that I have to be read is Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, which I want to finish before I see part two. The book I half read this morning is called Warm Bodies, and it's a science fiction. It's not necessarily young adult classified, but um, I'm enjoying it, and I am a young adult, so I'll do a review on that when I'm finished. I'm about half done, and it's really, really good. It's, um, it's about a zombie that falls in love with a human, which sounds kind of lame, but it's really well written. It's really good. My next book on the to-be-read pile is Enclave by Anne Aguirre, and I actually have read some of her um, adult science fiction books, and they're really good. So I heard about this, and it's dystopian, young adult, and it sounded really good, and I've only read a few pages of it, because I, when I first got it, I read a few pages, but it sounds really interesting and creepy and cool, and I'll review that when I'm done if I finish reading it. My next book is... I'll Be There by Holly Goldberg Sloan. It's a contemporary young adult fiction, I believe. I haven't started it, but I heard really good things about it. Um, I think it came out in May or something. I'm not sure, but that's on my to-be-read. And the last book on my to-be-read pile has actually been on there for a while, so I'm hoping to get to it, and it's Saving Francesca by Melina Marchetta. And it's about a girl who goes to an all-boys boarding school. It's her and a couple other girls. I don't really know a lot of what it's about, but I've heard good things about it. So that's my to-be-read pile, not to be confused with my book haul, which are sort of in a to-be-read sometime farther in the future pile. So, and these are all books that I got from my Goodwill, I think. And almost, uh, they're not all young adult fiction, but the first one is Gingerbread by Rachel Cohn. And I know she's done a lot of collaborations with David Levithan, and I, I don't know if I've read any of the collaborations, but I really like David Levithan, and um, I know Stephanie Perkins, the author of Anne and the French Kiss, really loves Rachel Cohn's work, and I think this is one of her first books, so I found this at Goodwill and picked it up. Next book I have is a Mango Shaped Space, which I really don't know a whole lot about. I think I've just heard people mention the title in passing, and I just grabbed it. The next book is City of Thieves by David Beninoff, and it's about Russia in World War II. It's an adult fiction, historical fiction. Um, I think I just saw it on an Amazon list of books that are really good. I don't I don't remember, but that's a book I picked up at Goodwill. Um, the next book is Sarah Dessen's The Truth About Forever, and I've read some of Sarah Dessen's other books, and I've really enjoyed them, and I think I started this book once a couple years ago, and I just put it aside because I was reading something else at the time, but I grabbed this. The last book I have is actually a book I found yesterday, and I was super excited to find it because I've been wanting to read it for a long time, and it's cr in crazy good shape. This is a brand new copy of 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher, and I've just heard phenomenal things about this, and I couldn't believe when I found it. Brand new hardcover at my Goodwill. It cost me 89 cents to get this, and I'm really, really excited to read it. I have some other books that I have been meaning to read, too. They're sort of to be read, but they're on my Kindle. I have the... I have a Kindle now. My brother and his... Well, she was his fiance then, but my sister-in-law and my brother gave me my Kindle for a graduation present slash wedding party gift, and I haven't finished any books on it, but I downloaded lots of free books. If you know of any cheaper free books for the Kindle that you would recommend, um, please let me know because I'm always game for cheap and free books, and I just love the feeling of this Kindle. I mean, I never, I never thought I wanted a Kindle until I had one. And I really, actually, I really enjoy reading on it. So, that's my Kindle. And 
If you guys have read any of the books that I showed you today and you liked them, please let me know. If you have any suggestions for videos you'd like to see or bookshelf tour, which I might do anyway, or any tags that you want to see me do or anything, I, I want suggestions. Leave comments and I will see you guys later. See ya.